am officially, not me, my bike is officially over 25,000 miles, which is incredible. And unfortunately, I'm not the one to put on all of those miles. It would have been an epic if it was, but I at least put on the last 4,000 for sure. And it's crazy to think about this bike and just where it's at because it's 100th anniversary edition. So 100 years of Harley in the making, they created this 883 and a bunch of other anniversary or edition bikes. But since then, it's had a really good life and I wish I could like, I don't know, go on a time machine and see what this bike was like and what the memories were made, the frustrations that were had, the ups, the downs, the goods, the bad, the riders that have rode it. So I believe, at least that's what I'm told when I bought the bike, is that I am the third owner. So the first owner kept it as a collectible item, of course, sold it to a gentleman up in like Fond du Lac County area. And I purchased it off of that guy who had bought it for himself, but then actually bought it for his son to ride. And his son, I guess, is six foot something, really, really tall and just uncomfortable on the bike and it just didn't work for him. So he ended up selling it to me after he rode it for a handful of years. So I'm, I don't know. I feel, I want to say emotional because that's not the word I want to use. But I feel grateful that I am part of this bike's journey so far. And putting in some of those miles to reach that 25K. And it's going to have its 25k service at the dealership very shortly here just so that I'm preparing for lots more long distance riding later on this summer but I feel like I don't know I need to celebrate the bike and this milestone for it because who else is going to do it I feel like I need to get some cake get some birthday candles some cake I said cake already what the hell am I talking about ice cream that's what I meant cake and ice cream some candles for this baby and celebrate her almost feels like a birthday kind of I don't know is that weird do people have like anniversaries for their bike where they celebrate certain milestones I am probably the weird one <laughs> but I feel like she needs it She's like a lady in her 30s, like myself. Not really, because technically it's not quite 20 years. 18, able to drive? Does that make more sense? But that feels really weird. We're not, no, at least 20. A lady in her 20s. 21, able to drink, at least here in Wisconsin. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but I wanted to come on here and celebrate it because I did some awesome, incredible rides today. I did at least five, I can't remember if I did six or nine, five rustic roads and then I went down to Harley-Davidson, uh, Milwaukee Harley-Davidson, sorry, in of course Milwaukee and got to test ride the live wire while she sat at the dealership for a little bit. But, I don't know, it was a good day for her and for me. And I felt like I just needed to come on and share that with you guys. And please tell me I'm not the only one who celebrates certain miles on their bike. I feel gypped that I'm not like the one to give her all of the 25,000 miles to put on her. But, yeah, I'm still so excited and there's so many more miles left on this bike many more years of riding 
I know I've talked to my husband about this and I yes I would want to get more of a bigger bike a touring style bike but he goes well will you trade it in and my first thought was no absolutely not why would I why would I want to do that <laughs> I freaking love this bike I love sportsters for me this is like a collector's item that I have and I own why would I want to get rid of it and for me, I hope that this is something, you know, as my kiddos get older, if they want to start riding, we have a smaller, smaller bike for them to hop on and go adventure and then it can be their bike. I don't know. I'm quite passionate about this lady and I want to keep her in our family for quite a number of years. So if I'm able to do that, Absolutely. I just need to save up a crap ton more in order to get a touring bike. <laughs> so yeah. Celebrate! Yes! And I think that's it for this one. This is just a short video that I wanted to share this small victory of the bike with you guys. So feel free to like and subscribe to my Moto channel if you want to see any more of the roads that I ride. There's a lot more coming up, not only in the state of Wisconsin, but throughout the country, on one side of the country and the other side of the country. <laughs> but I'm super pumped to kind of bring you along with me on these adventures and celebrate those victories like today with me. So thank you so much for tuning in and until next time, ride safe guys. See ya.